Yo, yo, yo! What's going on, gamers? Your boy I Maverick here, back with the Daily Dose. And, um, this is not gonna be as epic of an episode as we would have liked. Um, initially tried to do. We made it 100 episodes, man. We got the Martinelli's on deck, sparkling cider. Maybe that's how we gonna celebrate. But, um, me and Wifey had a little idea we were trying to do. We was gonna stream certain things. We had a little series of events we were gonna do. Some I thought would have been pretty funny. And you guys probably would have enjoyed that, but uh, ended up falling through with the last second. We're not going to do that, but we're not going to spill the beans because we might hold on to it and do it in the future. So unfortunately, because we plan to do that for today, we didn't really vlog as much as we could have yesterday. Um, but I promise y'all, well, let me not promise because crazy things happen. But I'm pretty sure because we've been vlogging today that you guys will have an episode of, for, for the guys that love the vlog. The guys that love the question stuff are, are loving this, but hopefully the vlog's back tomorrow. Um, and I know I've said that a couple times in the last few days, but like for real, for real. And, uh, but yeah, man. So, first, thank you, man, for everyone that supported. Uh, question of the day has to be how many of these 100 daily doses have you seen? And what has been your biggest takeaway? Did you learn something new that I shared? Did you learn something new about me by watching? Just what's one takeaway? Ah, dang. I'm blowing paper. But yeah, it's hot, man. Alright, so, uh, so that's it. Um, my little intro, my thank you. I do appreciate y'all. It hasn't been easy, man. Some of these episodes, we just barely squeaked in. But if you go through everyone, we haven't missed a day. It's not going, there's not two in one day. We just bow, 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 bow. A hundred. Hashtag bonus question. Did any of y'all think we'd make it this far? And then the second part to bonus question is, do you think we'll make it to 365? Because that was the goal that I set, to get 365 of these. And my main goal behind it um, wasn't to, it really wasn't even to like help you guys or speak wisdom or try and be Dr. Phil or even to have it form into a reality show. My, my, my thing behind it was, I wanted to make sure I had something in place to where I never lost track because the channel was growing and a lot of momentum and I never really struggled. Nothing like happened where I was like, I got to remind myself. At least I can't think of it because um, I'm usually pretty grounded. But I was just like, I want to just, I want to do something to where, you know, I, I'm even if I was like, it's probably not going to be a lot. It might be 10% of my subscribers that watch it. But, um, I want to make a deeper connection, right? I want to just get to know and reach out, and, and like they get, they get to bear, they get to better understand me, and I get to better understand a group of people. And who knows what can grow from that group? Maybe we can kind of get a a culture going in the comment section. So like when you go to the Mav, uh, my Maverick video, just things seem to be different. Um, of course, I want to deepen your guys's you know understanding of me and what I'm about, um, and some of my goals. And then through the questions of the day, I can get to know some of you guys, which has been a really cool part. And then that's evolved into us doing the vlogs, which I never thought we'd do. If you go back to the earlier ones, I think you can probably quote me in saying, I can't see us ever doing the daily vlogs. And we've done it pretty pretty consistently. So that's been cool. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, I never thought that... Uh, you know, I would be doing subscriber daily doses where I actually get to, that's even better, that's like 10 times better than the question of the day, almost, because I get to just see you guys and stuff, so that's cool, um, so yeah, just thank you guys, to everyone that supported and, and, you know, been here through this, uh, this series, is far from over, it's far from over, it, it might, when we get to 365, I don't know, if I'll just continue it, it would be nice to have a break though, because sometimes doing these dailies is a stress. Um, not, not. I'm not saying that in the sense of complaining or, or wanting to stop it, um, but it just, it would just be cool. Once we hit 365, I want to miss a day. Episode 366 needs to be a miss day for sure, and then we'll see what we do with it if it even stays daily or what. But so hopefully over these hundred days, I've I've achieved my goal. You guys have gotten to know me better. I definitely know I've gotten to know a group of you guys better. Some of you guys I'd never even known before. They've been rocking with me for years, so that's been awesome. Um, so yeah, man, it's really been really been a blessing, and, I, and I've enjoyed the series. So uh, I am gonna answer a few questions. I won't make this the longest episode. 
out the bottle like a boss. Um, so let's go through it. Here uh, we're still in. We're still on November twelfth. That's how many questions I have. I think I have at least two or three thousand unread emails. Reach imab at gmail.com if you want to get at me. Uh, YouTube struggle. That's what this is titled. Hey, I'm Mav. I am 14 years old. My name is Justin, and I run a YouTube channel with 160 subscribers. I love making videos, but I feel like I have an addiction to playing video games and making videos. But I know if I stop uploading, I will lose subscribers, and I was hacked a while ago, so I had to build my channel from the ground up. My grades are slipping and rising at the same time, but I want to balance everything. Can you help? Sorry that this is a long email, but I can use your help. Thank you. Uh, balance, balance, balance. I mean, we got two different types of balance, but it's still balance. You got school and maybe any kind of sports or extracurricular act extracurricular activities. You got maybe friends and stuff like that. And I got a family and church and friends and, and you know, things that I'm trying to build outside of YouTube. So, it's still balance, you know. One might argue one's tougher than the other, but still it's balance. Uh... I think a really good one that might work for you but doesn't work too well for me and I'm, I'm always constantly trying to get better at it is a schedule. If you could just schedule things like have it on paper in front of you and boom, pencil it out, that'd be good. Uh, and, and depending on how busy you are and how far you... Um, and I do have somewhat of a schedule. Like over here I have my whiteboard and I got all the videos I want for the week for both channels and the things I'm trying to get with the website. Um, and then even family stuff that I'm trying to do. And I gotta do that, man. I'll get so busy, I literally have to schedule time to pray. I have to schedule time to read my Bible. Because if I don't, I won't. And that's just real. Watch, I'm gonna keep this here. I was doing a Daily Dose video for today. For tomorrow's daily dose, like vlogging today, and I kept putting this cap on, and it kept like popping up. So we'll see if that happens. All right, but um, yeah. So and you know, schedule time with what everything. Like try and break it down, and do your best to stick to it. I I schedule things, but I I still kind of loosely schedule. I can't do it like to the minute, but I'll schedule several different things. So. Um, so I, I was gonna say it doesn't help me, but it actually does help a little bit. So scheduling is good. Um, having specific days where you do things. So a day where you do your channel, a day where you do school. Well, you kind of—I don't know if you can do a day for schoolwork. You kind of have to do it daily. So you know, um, uh, maybe as soon as you go home, knock your homework out, and then spend the rest of the night, rest of the night on your channel. Again, I don't know your pool schedule, so that's easier for you to put together. Um, and then because you're a youngster, it kind of changes how I give you this advice. So I would just try and fit what's best in your schedule. For anyone older that has, you know, maybe kids, a job, and everything, and you're still trying to run a YouTube channel, um, I would even suggest just staying up late, getting up early. How bad do you really want it? If you, want, if you just kind of want it and it's a hobby, well, then do it when you have time. But if you're like, man, I really want to make a difference, I really want to have a channel, I really want to be successful, well, then prove it. You know, you might not get eight hours of sleep. You might get four hours of sleep for a while. Um, that's definitely been my situation. You guys have seen how red my eyes have been sometimes. But even just to build up my man GS, there was a time where I know he used to work. And he's already told this story, so I'm not telling his business. Well, I am telling his business, but he's already told it publicly plenty, plenty of times. But I remember just being amazed, too, at his work ethic. He, he had a job at Walgreens where he was a manager, and he would work 12 or 13, however many hours a day, stay up or go home, spend time with his family, wait for them to go to sleep, then stay up, edit, uh, you know, record, edit, and render his videos. And this is when he had a crappy computer. It used to take hours. It used to take him five, six hours to do one video. Um, but he never made excuses, and he always had daily videos. And, it, and he never just brought that story up randomly just for you to feel bad for him. It always he always told that story when there was a purpose behind it. But um, so but he just made it happen, right? So there's no secret to why he is where he is right now. Uh, so if you if you know if you wonder who I'm talking about, search the channel Mr. Golden Mutt. One word: M R Golden Mutt. And then tell him I'm mad sent you if you like his videos. But um. But yeah, so it was like he just didn't make an excuse, he made it happen. You can make excuses or you can make it happen. Pick. Good question.
Uh... Uh, when did you start playing Madden video games in general? When did you start playing before YouTube? If you did. You inspired me and may God continue to watch over you. Like you say, God first, God bless. Uh, I started playing video games ever since I was young. I've, I've been here since I was young. I remember my older brother being in high school and me being like five or six and just whooping all of his friends in Mortal Kombat. They'd literally be lined up and I'd be like, get over here, <laughs> whooping them. And they'd be passing the sticks and I was little just whooping them in Mortal Kombat. So I always kind of played games. Um, as far as YouTube, I started playing Madden and Madden 12. I've always played Madden loosely growing up, but I really didn't get serious about it and like really trying to learn it learn it on a deep level till Madden 12. Good question. Let's do a couple more and let's get out of here. Alright, this might be the last question. This is a long one. Hey, Mav, just wanted to say that I'm a huge fan and your videos have gotten me through a lot. A year ago, I got really hurt and surgery, really hurt and had surgery and went through a long, hard, and stressful period of rehabilitation and watching your videos helped me get through some depression. My name is Dexter. Yep. Uh, you can, um, I'm 19 from NJ, New Jersey. And currently a freshman in college. I really don't want to be here in college, but my family has it really tough. And growing up, we never had much. Uh, I'm only here to provide for them and give them a better life. Every night when I pray, I tell God that I want that all I want is to live a happy and healthy life filled with love, laughter, peace, and happiness, surrounded by my family and loved ones. I wanted to know what advice you have for someone trying to make it in life and provide for his family uh, at such a young age. Um, my favorite thing is, is um, alright, so there's a lot to that. Um, here's my thing. This is what I'm going to tell you. Find your purpose. You gotta find your purpose. Let me show you one of my favorite books ever, right? All right, never mind. I give up. I uh, the book is called um. Hold on, cause I want some of y'all to get it. And no, I'm not gonna edit this out. Cause we don't edit out on this daily dose. Uh, it's not what it's called. This is a good book to help with this. The Purpose and Power of Authority by Dr. Miles Monroe. Uh, recently just passed away, one of my 
the biggest spiritual leaders and mentors I've had. I got a few of his books, man. He's amazing. Here's what it looks like. I'll pull up the Google Images. Well, no, I won't. But yeah, that's what it's called. The Purpose and Power of Authority um, by Dr. Miles Monroe. M-Y-L-E-S-M-U-N-R-O-E. -E. Um, and what he does is he goes in and he talks about, you know, first, you know, really how to find what, what God has for you as far as your purpose. Because we all were born with a specific purpose. Um, and once you kind of understand that, you start to enjoy life no more. Life more, you know why you were here. And you stop worrying about a lot of things. And once you, and we all have our, our, our purpose, and we all have our authority, and we all have our domain. And the authority in your domain work well. All right, so how can I, how can I paraphrase this? Because you might not go get the book. So, so you're trying to provide for your family, right? The best way to do that is to find your authority, which is what you do best, right? So LeBron James, his authority is in basketball. He's very good at that. And what's his domain? It's all things basketball related, right? And then, you know, it branches out into some other things. But, and that's and that's where you really find true happiness when you find out what you're supposed to do, why you're here. I think, I think this quote is by Mark Twain. It says, the two best days of your life are one, when you're born, number two, when you figure out why. So, um... And you have so many people out there, and that might be what you're trying to do when you're going to school because you said you don't want to be there. Because um, I was that kid at one point, right? I was in school, and I was like, this just ain't for me, so I dropped out because that's not where my authority and my domain was. So you, you have so many people that are trying, that are, they're lamps, right? God made them to be a lamp, and they shine bright, and they're good at being a lamp, but they're trying so hard to be a baseball bat, and they were never made to be a baseball bat. So, for example, um, you uh, you know you can take a lamp, and I can step on a baseball field, and I can use it, and I could probably hit the ball, and it might not go that far, but I can hit it right. I'm halfway doing it, um, but it'll never ever be a baseball bat, ever, because it was never made to be one. And that's what you see too often. You see too, you see, I see a lot of people trying to be I mad. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I like what Mav does. I'm gonna be I mad, but you were never made to be I mad. You were made to be Dexter, right? And I'm not saying you've ever tried that. I'm just, you know. So, uh, and of course, your kids, your, your parents, and it's natural. Parents want you to go to school, get a job so you can be successful. Like Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, or whatever. But you weren't made to be them. You got to do you. And so that's why I think it's really important for everybody. And what sucks, you have so many people that are alive, but they're not living. They're, they're just on autopilot, and they die unfulfilled because they never find their purpose and their authority in their domain. So... Uh, that would be my main focus. So instead of praying every night, you know, God, I just want to be happy. I'll be like, God, I surrender my will. What is your will for my life? What did you put me here to do? Um, open my eyes to that. And a big part of getting getting close enough to God and understanding your purpose is just getting closer to God in general um, and understanding him and his, his overall will for you. And then as you start to get closer and seek him and, and, and kill with your will and, and, and take upon his will, he's going to just start opening the eyes to things. And then that's when that's when life gets fun. That's when you're fully fulfilled. That's when you, you got joy. Um, and then and the best part is where your authority is and where God puts you, he's also going to make provision. So that's when you'll just be able to take care of your family um, and be happy doing it. Hope that helped. Um, and I like how I answered that. So I'm going to leave that right there. We're going to wrap this episode up. Episode 100. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Bring it in for a hug. Come on. Virtual hug. It's not gay. Come on. Come on. Hug me. Virtual hug. Let me get a hashtag virtual hug if you gave me one in the comment section. That's cool. All right. And if you, if you, if you was a little turned off by that virtual dap, dap it up. Dap it up. Let me get a hashtag dap if you did the virtual, hashtag virtual dap if you dapped it up. Dap, mm. All right, brother. Appreciate y'all. Uh, tomorrow we'll be back with the normal vlogs. Again, nothing epic for 100. It's, it's epic on its own. It don't need no, it's epic on its own. Because it's 100. Yeah. All right, y'all be easy. I'm out. Till next time, God first. God bless.